the vast majority of America's fighter aircraft fleet is pretty old, as it is still comprised mostly old planes that were initially designed decades ago. Although constantly upgraded, these machines are no match, in more than one respect, to the newest arrival and one of the few fifth-generation aircraft around, the F-35 Lightning II. Born as a replacement for the aging F-16 Fighting Falcons and a 10 Thunderbolt II, but still flying alongside plenty of them, the F-35 is such a successful vehicle that it spread like wildfire, not only through the ranks of the US Air Force, US Navy, and the US Marine Corps, but also through the ranks of allied nations. The global fleet of F-35S presently counts over 1,100 examples, many of which are deployed in America's service, but enough numbers are operated by 10 allied countries too. That's pretty impressive, seeing how the plane first flew in an operational mission in 2006, since then, more than 971,700 flight hours have been added across the fleet. All of the F-35S presently in operation run on conventional jet fuel, and the stuff works, but it has the tendency of generating an extended supply chain, it is pretty harmful to the environment, and has the plane's operators in a corner, as there are no alternatives to it. Or, there weren't, because as of this month the F-35 Lightning II fleet got the thumbs up from its maker, Lockheed Martin, to fly on something called Synthetic Aviation Turbine Fuels, or SATF. That would be a type of fuel derived from either fossil-based sources, like, say coal or natural gas, but also renewables the likes of waste oils and agricultural residues. Before giving its seal of approval, the defense contractor conducted a series of tests that have certified the SATF as being capable of delivering what it takes for the strict performance and reliability standards required for the F-35's complex, high-demand missions. Even so, F-35s will not fly solely on this type of fuel, but on blends with regular jet fuel of up to 50%, depending on the type of raw materials and production pathway. Lockheed Martin does not say if this mixture impacts the plane's performance in any way, but most likely it doesn't. The F-35 burns fuel for the needs of the single Pratt & Whitney F-135 PW-100 turbofan engine that powers it. The basic specs for the engine translate into a thrust of 43,000 pounds, a top speed of Mach 1.6, and a maximum altitude of 50,000 feet. The range of the F-35, when using a single fill of regular fuel, is estimated at 1,350 miles, but with aerial fueling on deck that range is limited only by the pilot's ability to endure extremely long flights.